You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. In the living room, honey. Are we late? Relax. They can't start till we get there. Is this dress all right? My favorite. I should have bought a new one, but I couldn't make up my mind. You look lovely. I borrowed this brooch from your mother's room. Do you think she'd mind? Of course not. Everything's yours now anyway. Let me see. Something old, something new. The ring's new. I suppose. Something borrowed, something blue. Hmm. There must be something. Will this handkerchief do? It's blue. Perfect. How are you doing? Ready as I'll ever be. You look extremely handsome, Mr. Walker. Why, thank you, Mrs. Walker. Not yet. The Justice of the Peace has to say the magic words. That is, unless you've changed your mind. <laughs> Very funny. Oh, my gosh, look at the clock. We are late. No, we're not. I just got it running again. How did you do that? Little tender loving care. No one's wound it since, well, since Mother passed away. I wish she could be here today. So do I. I have the license in my purse. What else do we need? Car keys. Right here. Then that's it, I guess. Shall we? Um, <clears throat> my arm, miss? With pleasure, kind sir. Oh. What? Did the realtor call? Not this morning. Why? I just wondered if the papers are ready, so he can show the house. I'm sure they are. Then all you have to do is sign them this afternoon. And finish straightening up, vacuum the rugs. I don't know what we're going to do with all the boxes. We haven't even started on the attic yet. I can wait. Just think, tonight we'll be miles from here. Oh, Alex, won't it be wonderful to get away for a few days? Not much of a honeymoon, I'm afraid. It's exactly what we need. Some time alone. Just the two of us. You must have been going crazy cooped up here. Don't be silly. You needed me. Your whole life is wrapped up in this house. Mine and mother's. Well, this will be the start of your new life. Our life. Sounds great. Let's go. Yes, sir. Hold on. Now what? The picture of her on the wall. It's crooked. This is the house of the late Henrietta Walker. The picture is of Mrs. Walker herself, as she appeared 25 years ago. And the living room is, except for a few isolated objects, also exactly as it appeared then. The other rooms, upstairs and down, are much the same. The house is, you see, one that belongs almost entirely to the past. A house which, like Mrs. Walker's clock, has ceased to recognize the passage of time. Only one element is missing at the moment, one remaining item in the estate of the late Henrietta Walker. Her son, Alex. He is 34 years of age, and for a few minutes more, the so-called perennial bachelor. The young woman is his bride-to-be, Miss Virginia Lane. Soon they will return from City Hall to get Mr. Walker's clothes packed, make final arrangements for the sale of the house, and depart for their honeymoon. Not a complicated set of tasks, and yet the new Mrs. Walker is about to discover just how complicated they can be. 
She is, in fact, about to face the most difficult hour of her life, an hour that will lead her step by step, inexorably, to a point of blinding terror. Sixty minutes during which she will be reminded of the following, that memories have power, that ownership involves a good deal more than a marriage license or a contract of sale, that the past is never truly dead, and that the oft-heard phrase, you can't go home again, has little meaning in the Twilight Zone. And now, The Twilight Zone, and our story, Young Man's Fancy, starring Tony Plana, with Stacy Keach as your narrator. Oh, Alex, I'm so happy. Wait. What's the matter? Shouldn't I carry you over the threshold? Not of this house. Our own place, as soon as we get one. <laughs> right. After you, then, Mrs. Walker. My pleasure, Mr. Walker. Well, here we are. For another hour, at least. <laughs> Feel any different? Like a new woman. An honest woman, at last. <sniffs> worth the wait, I hope. More than worth it. Shall we get started? Hmm. Dear, we should finish packing our suitcases. Yes, of course. Did you phone Mr. Wilkinson? What? The real estate man. Does he know when we'll be back? Oh. No, not yet. Hadn't you better call him now? You have those papers to sign, too. Remember? Yes. Did you leave the vacuum cleaner out? I wanted to get the place straightened up a little before we leave. She trained you well. Who? Your mother. She was always so... neat and orderly. <sighs> yes, she was. I'll put it in the closet for now. You should call Mr. Wilkinson first. I should? Before it gets any later. All right, if you like. Do you have his number? In the drawer. Is it there? I was sure. Check your pockets. N not in this suit. Maybe upstairs. Well, don't let that stop you. Get the number from information. Oh, right. Tell you what. You go upstairs and start to pack, and I'll call Mr. Wilkinson, okay? It's not your responsibility. No, but we're a team now. You'd better get used to it. I guess we are. We have been for a long time, or didn't you notice? Now it's official. Oh, Alex, darling, you look so lost. It's going to be all right, you'll see. Mm. I am so happy to be Mrs. Walker after all these years. I know. Aren't you? Absolutely. Go on upstairs and pack. I'll be up soon. Thanks. For what? For being so patient. I love you, you know. I love you, too. Now go ahead. Operator? Yes. Would you give me the number of Wilkinson Realty, please? Thanks. Mr. Wilkinson, Virginia Lane. Oh, I mean, Virginia Walker. Yes. Yes, just a little while ago. Thank you, Mr. Wilkinson. I am. We both are. Very happy. Yes, we're back now. We were wondering if you'll bring the papers over. Mr. Walker will sign them. That's right. So you can show the house while we're gone. As soon as possible. We'll be leaving soon. Fine. We'll see you in a few minutes, then. Goodbye. Virginia? Oh. 
Alex, you startled me. <sighs> Sorry. I thought you were going upstairs. There's plenty of time. I, I wanted to ask you a question. Yes? What do you think we should take with us? Take? When we move. We don't need to decide that now, do we? The television set, I guess. It's only a few years old. And there are some things in the other rooms that... I thought we decided to discuss all that after the house is sold. Sold. That sounds so final. We really don't have a choice, do we? No, but I... I just thought maybe we should decide now. I mean, like... In the kitchen, for instance, we could take the refrigerator and stove. They're almost new. I just bought them for Mother a, a few months before she... All right, Alex, fine. But let's discuss it later. Why not now? Because we have to get ready to leave. Oh. Well, then. What about the radio? The radio? The big console. What about it? It's an old one, but we could have it fixed. These are collector's items now. Who collects old radios? Plenty of people. It was old when I was little. They don't even make parts for it, do they? You'd be surprised. The cabin alone is worth something. Well, some antique dealer, I suppose. Maybe it still works. It could have come unplugged from the wall. I should check. Weighs a ton, I bet. Yes, Alex, it does. But you'll hurt your back. Look at all this laminated wood. The carving and staining. The work they put into it. The craft. And the, the big bands we used to hear. Duke Ellington, Tommy Dorsey. You're not that old. No, but there were stations that played rebroadcasts of the big bands. We used to sit in here all the time, listening to them. Mother's favorite was Guy Lombardo. Who? Isn't that something? What is? I just remembered. She used to be crazy about a record of his called Looky, Looky, Looky. Do you know that one? I don't believe I do. Looky, 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 here comes Cookie, walking down the... Alex. Ah, <sighs> broken. I knew it was, but... But what? You can't imagine what it was like. Mother used to sit here, in this chair, looking at her movie magazines. She saved them all. Photo play, motion picture. <laughs> Funny I should remember that. She gave it up a long time ago. You must have been very small. I was. Sometimes she'd make us a pan of fudge and we'd sit in here, just the two of us and... Alex. What? It's getting late. Is it? Please go up and pack now. Would you do that for me? We want to leave right after Mr. Wilkinson comes. Isn't that right, dear? Yes. Sorry. Otherwise, it'll be so late in the day we'll never get there. That's true. I'll wait for you down here. Be careful. Of what? Of her things. I haven't put it all away yet. Don't worry. We'll work on it together when we get back. Some of it is very fragile. You know, maybe I can find someone to fix the grandfather clock, too. Did you notice? It stopped again. We'll talk about it later, Alex. All right, then. Later. <sighs> Put it all in boxes. Starting with this picture of her. You think he's still yours, don't you? Well, he may have been once, but not anymore. He's mine now. You'll never get your claws on him again. What in the... And that was Looky, 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 performed by Guy Lombardo and his orchestra on our program of vintage favorites from the big band years. Next up on our hit parade from 1930... How can this radio work? It's broken. No, where... Alex? Alex, what's going on up there? Are you playing records? <sighs> that
That man, we're never going to get out of here. Alex? What are you doing? I found it. Found what? That Guy Lombardo record. It was in the stack of Mother's old 78s. I knew I was right. That's enough. We don't have time for this. Why are you sitting up here listening to records? This used to be my room. I know, but Alex, really... I was just looking at some of my old things that Mother kept. She saved it all for me, just as I left it. Isn't that amazing? I thought you were packing so we could go. I will. But look at this. A Dick Tracy watch. With a picture of Dick Tracy himself on the dial. Alex, I... Looks as good as ever, doesn't it? Wonder if it works. Oh, no. Mainspring's probably broken. I could take it to a watchmaker. What for? So you can wear it? I got you a watch last year for Christmas. I know, but it's special, don't you think? See this cigar box? It's got everything she ever bought me. My Spider-Man action figure, my Incredible Hulk, and the Wild Wild West hat, belt, and spurs. There's a secret compartment in the buckle. I'm sure some collector will be glad to have them. Oh, look. My Speed Racer cards. And my G.I. Joes. Look, here's my army men in the cardboard battlefields. See, you folded them like so, and then you'd set them out on the table and move the little green plastic figures around. Would you put them away now, please? Here's a picture of me when I was a boy with my Batman outfit. See the utility belt? That was for my Batarang. <laughs> I used to walk around the neighborhood all dressed up. Sometimes I'd wear my bat cape, too. Isn't that funny? The other kids laughed at me, but I didn't care. And these books. I read them all. The Hardy Boys in The Secret of the Cave. Bill Bolton in Hidden Danger. Tarzan and the Ant-Man. Tarzan and the Jewels of Opar. Jungle Tales of Tarzan. And my comic books. Alex, please. I wonder why Mother kept them. It's all as I left it, in the same order. Don't you know? Most mothers throw things out when their sons grow up, except for a few school papers, items that have sentimental value, but my mother saved it all, every little thing. Because she would have liked for you to stay exactly as you were when you first had them. Virginia. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't mean that. Don't worry, I'm putting it away, all of it. Don't be angry with me. Alex. I'm not. I think you are. I think you resent having to clean out this house. You resent me for coming in here like an outsider, an intruder. I don't think anything of the kind. Don't you? Are you sure? You don't think I'm trying to... to come between you and your past? To steal you away? Because if you do, maybe we shouldn't have... Shouldn't have what? Nothing. Go on. Say it. Oh, Alex. It's just that we're both on edge. This has been a difficult time. More for you than for me, I'm sure, but we're going to make a new start. Move on. You do want that, don't you? What do you think? I don't know sometimes. I only want us to be happy. It's all I've ever wanted. Go on downstairs, honey. I I'll put these things away. Then I'll get packed. All right, Alex. Let's forget about it. I left your suitcase on the bed in the other bedroom. Thanks. You want me to help you? I can manage. I know you can. I only thought... Sure you're not angry with me? No. I'll make you happy, Alex. You'll see. You won't be sorry. I know. 
I'll wait downstairs for Mr. Wilkinson, then. He should be here any minute now. You do that. Oh, Mother. I don't want to sell the house. You believe me, don't you? I don't want to sell it. But what else can I do? Touched it. <gasps> oh. Oh, Mr. Wilkinson. Afternoon, Mrs. Walker. Come in, please. Thank you kindly. I appreciate your making the trip. Oh, no problem. It's only a few blocks. Would you mind waiting in the living room? Mr. Walker will be right down. Fine and dandy, ma'am. Is everything in order? Ma'am? The papers about the house. Oh, yes. All drawn up. I have them right here. Good. That's good. So there won't be any delay? None that I can see. Alex? Alex, dear? Yes? Mr. Wilkinson is here with the papers. Be right down. A lot to do, huh? You wouldn't believe what to save, what to get rid of. Oh, it's always that way. But it'll get done. Shouldn't be too hard, in this case. Why? The house. <laughs> it's neat as a pen. Mrs. Walker was like that. Uh, the other Mrs. Walker, I mean. Everything in its place. Yes, that's certainly true. Ah, here's the man of the house. Mr. Wilkinson. Afternoon, Mr. Walker. I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you. Won't you sit down? Mr. Wilkinson has everything in his briefcase. That I do. Uh, but first, I wonder if I could trouble you for something. What's that? Uh, the use of your telephone. Sure. You see, I forgot to tell my secretary where I'd be, and I'm expecting a pretty important call from out of town. Phone's right over there. I can call for you. I'll tell her where you are. Would you do that? Meanwhile, why don't you use the dining room table? Fine and dandy. Right this way. After you, sir. Make it as quick as possible if you can, dear. We really have to leave. Now then, as you can see right here, we're going to be signing this parcel. Where? That ridiculous clock. But this isn't the phone. It can't be. It's ancient. Where did it come from? Excuse me. Did you get through? What? The phone call. I? Maybe I'd better do it after all. I have to tell my secretary something else anyway. I I'm sorry, but, but the phone... Something wrong? No... I mean... Let me try. What did you do? Do? That phone. Just a minute ago, it was... Hello, Maggie. Jim, I'm over at Henrietta Walker's house. That's right. I just wanted you to know, uh, if that call comes through in the next ten minutes, would you forward it to me here? Alex? Hmm? The phone. What about it? Describe it to me. What? When you were a boy, what kind of phone did you have? Does it matter? Just tell me. It was a long time ago. Let's see. One of those old two-piece units, I think. Yes, with the earpiece on a separate cord. Really ancient. I wonder what happened to it. But that's not the phone you've had in recent years. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. What's the big deal? I thought I saw it in the living room just now. I must have been mistaken. 
And would you call Charlie Fisher? Tell him that escrow's been approved for 60 days. We have the form for him to sign. He can come by the office or we'll mail it out. Right. Fine and dandy, Maggie. See you. Bye. Here, Mr. Wilkinson. We're almost finished. Quite a place, isn't it? Quite a place. No, we shouldn't have any trouble at all selling it. Uh, something you don't understand, Mr. Walker. Pardon? I see you haven't signed yet. If you have a question, that's why I'm here. I... Uh, yes? I think I'd like to wait. How's that? Until we get back. But, Alex... I want to think about it. Oh? Think about what? You decided... No, not yet. I need more time. But you already... I said I want to think about it, Verge. If that's your preference, you have the right. I... I I'm sorry to put you to all this trouble, Mr. Wilkinson. I just... I'm not quite ready yet. I understand. Do you? My mother said never to rush into anything. Always think it through. Good advice. You're positive. I could line up a buyer right away, you know. Alex, please... I'm positive. Uh-huh. I'll get in touch with you on your return, then. Please. I think that would be better. Well, have a nice honeymoon, and, uh, and don't bother to show me to the door, Miss Lane. Uh, Mrs. Walker. Alex! I don't understand what's happening. Shh! He's gone. You'll have to explain it to me, because... Quiet! Listen. To what? The grandfather clock. It's running again. I'll go finish packing. Alex? What? Alex, you promised. What do you mean? You know what I mean. You promised to sell this house. Yes, I did. And now you're backing down? I'm not backing down from anything, Verge. I just want a little time to think, that's all. I must be missing something. Can you explain it to me? What's there to think about? Well, I... I just don't like the idea of... Of what? You know, people tramping in and out when I'm not here. Touching things, handling them, stealing them. With a real estate agent standing right there. It could happen. That's an excuse, not a reason. Maybe it is, Burge. What do you want me to say? Never mind. No more talk, just pack and we'll get out of here. All right. Virginia? What is it now? I was thinking. Couldn't we... Couldn't we what? Couldn't we live here? What did you say? I know how it sounds, but it's a perfectly good house. Plenty of space, new roof, new appliances in the kitchen. We could... No. No, Alex, no. Don't say no like that without even considering. I don't have to consider it. It's out of the question. We, we could do whatever you want with it. Even redecorate the rooms to, to a degree, if that would make you happy. I want to leave, Alex. Do you hear what I'm saying? I want to leave, right now. But, Virginia... You promised me you'd sell this house after your mother died. Well, she's dead, Alex. Dead. Don't. I've waited for you. All these years. Long years, Alex. Now I want my own home. I have a right to it, don't you think? Or am I being unreasonable? I hate it when you talk this way. And I hate it when you look at me this way. How? As if you don't even know me. I'm sorry. I don't mean to hurt you. Then don't. Oh, Alex, please. Don't do this to us. I'm not doing anything. I'm only trying to figure it all out. But there are so many considerations. Like what? I'm not sure anymore. 
I only know. Do you know how much I love you? I want to take care of you, make a home for you. But our home, not hers. We've waited so long, darling. So very long. It wasn't my fault. I thought you understood. I do. Your mother was sick and you couldn't... She lost her health raising me, taking care of me in this house for more than 20 years. And now you feel guilty? My father deserted us when I was only two months old, Virg. Two months old. And she had to make do as best she could for the both of us and... All right, Alex, all right. Please, let's go before it's too late. Before something else can happen to... Like what? I don't know. I only know that I'm frightened. This house has some kind of hold on you. It's as if your mother still... Still what? I don't pretend to understand, but we've got to move on now, or we'll never get away. Verge? Yes? I've made my decision. Oh, Alex. I knew you would. I never doubted it. Now can we... I'm not going to sell this house. I can't. Alex. We'll have it redecorated. Get some new furniture and... And what? You think that will solve everything? We'll talk about it later. No, Alex. I won't let you throw your life away like this. I won't. We'll get out of here now. I'll drive, and you're coming with me. Where's my purse? You. In the picture. Look at you, so high and mighty, watching everything that goes on in this house. Watching him. Well, you won't watch him anymore. I won't have it! The keys. They're not in my purse. Where? Oh, on the table. Who put this magazine here? Movie World, March 1936? Special Shirley Temple issue. It's you, isn't it, Henrietta? This is one of your magazines. Well, it won't work. I'll fight you. Where are you now? In the kitchen? You can't hide from me. Where did this old stove come from? What are you cooking, fudge? Well, forget it. He doesn't need it anymore. I know what you're doing. You're changing everything back to the way it was. That's what you want, isn't it? For time to go backwards, to stand still. Well, it'll take more than that, old woman. He's not a child anymore. And now the living room? Is that your plan? I see what you've done. Musty furniture, no television set, everything old. Old, like you. What's next? You think you can change everything back? Alex. Alex! No. You. Get out of my house. Get out of my way. You can't come up here. No. No. You can't have him. I won't let you. Back. I'm warning you. S stand aside. You don't belong. You're not one of us. Maybe not. But he's mine now. He'll never be yours. He is now. He is. It's already been decided. I'm the one he needs. How can you be? Because I am. I've always known it. I won't try to destroy him like you did. My love will make him strong, not weak, not dependent. Foolish girl. You know it's true. You've always known and hated me for it. 
Well, your hatred isn't strong enough. Your desire to dominate him. You've lost. We're married. He's not your little boy anymore. He's alive, not dead. You can't have him back. It's too late. Alex? <gasps> what do you want? Alex. Mother, come back. Are you sure? Yes, Mother. I want you to. Alex! If that's your desire. It is. I'm never gonna leave you. I promise. Very well, son. Goodbye, lady. Alex! You can go now? Alex! Alex, where are you? Your records, your toys. There's nothing here now. Where did it go? Where did you go? Where? Alex. Alex. The contest has ended now. A contest fought not only in space, but in time. Mr. Alex Walker is gone, no longer in this house as it exists today. He has returned, in flesh and in mind, to that period of his life from which, emotionally, he had never really departed. Mrs. Henrietta Walker has also gone back to that same era, forced to return there by a little boy whose will to remain forever a child is so powerful that time itself fell prey to it. As for the short-lived Virginia Walker, now once again Miss Virginia Lane, she finds herself in an empty house, excluded and alone, the victim of a tragic warp in mind and time, as recorded in The Twilight Zone. More from The Twilight Zone after this. Hi, this is Carl Amari, producer of The Twilight Zone radio dramas. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our official website at twilightzoneradio.com where you'll get the latest news and information on these Twilight Zone radio dramas. Plus, at TwilightZoneRadio.com, you can digitally download three free episodes or any of our episodes for only $1.95 each. In this age of ever-changing technology, we've decided to make these episodes instantly available to you by making the Twilight Zone radio dramas a digital download-only series. This means that this series will no longer be offered on CD. The CD collections at our website are now being offered while supplies last at buy one, get one free. So be sure to get your favorites before they're sold out. Be sure to visit us often, and I'll see you in the zone. Young Man's Fancy, starring Tony Plana with Stacey Keach as your narrator, was adapted for radio by Dennis Etcherson and written for The Twilight Zone by Rod Serling, based on a story by Richard Matheson. Heard in the cast were Fernet Lebo, Doug James, Nydia Rodriguez, and C.J. Amari. This copyrighted radio series is produced and directed by Carl Amari for Falcon Picture Group and Westwood One. Sound design and custom Foley effects for The Twilight Zone by Cerny American creatives Bob Benson, Craig Lee, Matt Sorrow, Tim Cerny, and Todd Beyer. To learn more about The Twilight Zone radio dramas and to contact us, visit our official website at twilightzoneradio.com. Doug James speaking. <laughs>